Yo, what's up lads? Welcome back to the channel, what's the crack? We are here with the AC Milan legends and big time Inzaghi, right? Inzaghi's been one of my favorite players in the game. I will do a full review on him with gameplay um, because we did actually get him on our Xbox account earlier. But we are back here with our AC Milan epics. You've got Kaka, Cafu and Inzaghi. Inzaghi is from the 23rd of May 2007. This guy was a serious goal scorer, lads. You also get a free login bonus of a free spin. So we'll do that at the end of the video as well. So make sure you keep watching. I'll keep it short and sweet, lads. We've done a lot of reviews like this now. I've played a good bit with Cafu. Kaka, I haven't played too much with. I've played a bit of co-op with him. I've played on, you know, other people's profiles, testing him out and stuff. I've done enough to actually review him. But I haven't really sat down and played like 100 plus matches where he's been my main vocal focal point. And I would love to see him. Cafu, I know exactly how he plays in Zaggy. I've played tons of games with him. But Kaka, I would like to get him into my squad and just see how he operates for me in the system that I play, right? But anyway, Cafu, very solid right back, offensive right back. I would play him as part of a 3-5-2 wing back because he is a little bit defensively frail. Even though you can boost that up massively, we will show you a version of him here in a second, which I think is the best. Pinpoint crossing, weighted pass. He's also got man marking, interception and fighting spirit. Unwavering form, which is beautiful. He's on B rating and early crosser. Cafu is probably one of the best crossers in the game. For me, on the left, I still think that Alex Grimaldo is the best left wing uh, back. I just think he's built different in the game. And him and Carlos are unbelievable to have one starting, one on the bench, or one to come on at half time or whatever. But Cafu on the right side is probably equally as good, right? So when we take a look over on eFootball DB here, two seconds, we have 33 points to go, 33 levels to go. And to be honest, look, you can go defensively with him. I will do a build, defensive build on him where you can go with the 88 aggression, 15 points into it, and then throw the rest wherever you want, right? But I still definitely think that Cafu is more suited to be an offensive fullback, right? He's down as an offensive fullback. He's got all the skills and all the passing ability that you need as a fullback. And if I'm going to be using him, I'm using him for a, a very specific role. So I think the best overall build, right? If you're just kind of looking for the best fits all, um, one size fits all build for him, I would definitely say pop maybe six into defending, maybe seven just to get that aggression to 80 because it doesn't track up when you get the player form arrow, everything else does. Plus you get the defensive awareness a boost into the 80s. Also, I would pop on a little bit of aerial strength. Not too much. I just want to get that physical contact up to about 77, uh, maybe 78, depending on how I'm going to be training him uh, or playing him. And then I'm going to pop this up a little bit. We don't need massive speed, but we do need a little bit of a boost to the dexterity to get the offensive awareness up and also for the defensive awareness up. The reason why I like this defense is because the defensive awareness is slightly more than the offensive, but we'll see how it goes, right? Dribbling, you don't need much of that. I would pop nine into lofted pass and then you can go from there. Now, this is where you can kind of mess around with the build a little bit. If you're going for a solid player that you still want to be good defensively, you could leave that at like 78 and pop two more into passing to get 85 lofted pass you could do away with all of these and go like full on with the defensive if you want to talk you could go away because the game is going to bypass a lot of it when he is physically contacting or physically into um tackles and stuff i would try and get that lofted pass up if i could into that mark there where i would try and get it to the 88 and still have 84 acceleration with speed and 90 stamina but I do feel like that this card, because of the passing and the skills that he has, you don't need to go that high with that. Like 80 is probably more than enough with the lofted pass because of the player skills that he has and the way that he has pinpoint crossing and nearly cross, right? So I would definitely boost up everything. I would go 78 dribbling and then I would pop the rest into defending, maybe eight. And then probably pop two more onto dexterity one more onto lower body and you've got a very good beast on your hands, right? Similarly, a wit the main man Akaka, right? This is kind of the main guy that you're going to be probably wanting to sign from this pack. He starts off as an 84 overall, and this Kaka is a whole player, and he is from this six seven season. Unbelievable talent, lads. I used to love watching him, one of my favorite players ever to watch. Even though he destroyed uh, United a few times, he was an absolute beast of a player, right? Double touch, one touch pass. He doesn't have flip flap, which means he can't do the special trip, uh, special level three uh, double touch. But that's not a big concern. You could always throw it on him. I would also throw on a couple of other stats on him, which I'll do in my training guide of him. But he is a beast, and I know he's going to play like a beast. Any game that I've played with him in co-op or across different profiles, testing him out, he just kind of glides through the pitch. But I do feel he is nerfed. Every other version of Kaka that I've tried feels like he's nerfed. Zico is kind of the same. 
you know, if you compare Guti to Zico and their different play styles, even though they both have different play styles, I find that whole players are just, they just move differently. Like Pedri, whole player Pedri. Um, Sané is an absolute unbelievable uh, whole player as well. Any of those guys, Eze, any of those guys that can play it. So he is going to be a monster. Trust me on that, right? He doesn't have unwavering form, but everything else is pretty solid, right? Over on eFootball DB, I think this is the best build of him, right? You've got 80 finishing, you've got 85 low pass, you've got all your dribbling stats into the 90s with the boost, and then you've got 95 acceleration with 86 balance. For a player this tall, this strong, what more could you possibly want? Now, I'm going to do a very unique build, which I've been doing a lot of research and talking to a few people that have played with Kaka a lot. I'm going to do a very unique build for his training guide, but you can't go wrong with this build here to keep it short and sweet. And then last but not least, we have the main man, Filippo Inzaghi. Just a pure finisher, lads, right? I think he is probably one of the best goal poachers in the game. Plus, he has super sub. When I talk about players, right... A lot of people sometimes get confused as to whether a player is like usable or meta or like absolutely beastly or if a player can be used as, as a super sub or an impact player. When you're using a player as an impact player, he's in his own tier because you've got a super sub ability on him and you also have his ID, his player ID that means that he's able to come in and do a role for you, do a job for you, a very specific job. Halland to me, right, if I'm using Halland, his balance and his lack of actual pace, he feels clunky on the pitch. He's not, a, he's not a runner for me. He's not a starter. But if you're putting Haaland and Inzaghi and Morientes or Collar into that tier of impact players, they're top of the pops. Like, they're top of the pile. So Inzaghi is not going to replace your Romario. He's not going to replace your Mbappe or Son if you're used to playing with him. But in terms of impact players, he does outperform those guys, right? Especially with the super sub. He's got excellent player skills, as you see there. But the thing I like about this Inzaghi, lads, right, as we head over here, this Inzaghi actually has fairly solid acceleration. So if you look at the Epic one here that they released, or if you look at this one here, this version of him has 84 starting acceleration, which the Legend card only had 74 and 75, um, or whatever. This one had 72, and this one has 77. So this card has 84 acceleration, which is absolutely insane, right? But more importantly, that means that you're also going to be able to track up the offensive awareness, and he's got 74 balance, which is higher than any other card as well. So you can see where they're kind of pushing these cards, right? 31 levels, if you max out and put 12 points, or yeah, I think it's 12 points into offensive awareness, you're going to have Inzaghi with 96 awareness, 96 acceleration, and 86 balance. I mean, that is extraordinary for a card that you would consider to be a slow, you know, just press the button and shoot and score, right? It's an, an extraordinary card to start off with. You don't need more than 88 finishing. Trust me, lads. Trust me on that. You do not need more than 88 finishing. We'll see how the card builds, but we don't really need it, right? He has one touch pass, so you don't need the low pass because all players can pass anyway. It's not a big concern. You're basically going to be finishing with this guy, right? Dribbling. All we want with dribbling is his tight possession to be about 73 or his dribbling to be about 78. That's all we want, right? So when we get to that level there, we might as well go one more with 78. We will do a different build on him if you want as a pure finisher. And then the rest is up to you. The one big weakness with him is obviously he's going to be his stamina and his speed, but we're using him as a stamina or as a, an impact player. So we're not worried about that. Um, it's going to be something that we have to look at if we're playing him. Like, he's not going to be starting and playing 90 minutes for us, right? So I would forget about his lower body strength that much, and I would probably pop the rest into his aerial strength, and I would probably pop one more into his jump to try and get that jump to uh, as close as we can, right? Now, if you don't use a lot of crosses, you can obviously boost that up to 90. If you don't dribble a lot with him, you can obviously boost that up and get the finishing or get the lower body strength up if you want to play him a little bit more. 80 speed is more than enough. You can get his jump up. You can get everything up that you possibly want. But I definitely think that this is an absolute beastly card um, for Inzaghi. I'm very impressed with it. It's definitely one of the best cards that they have released for him, I would say, um, in the last, I don't know, like how long. Um, but that is a fantastic card, even though you don't need those uh, finishing stats. Acceleration and defensive awareness maxed out finishing 92. That's just a killer card, right? So that is it for me, lads. I will be back soon with another video. We will be streaming as well today. So let me know what you guys think of this. We're doing a lot of videos. We're grinding. And uh, yeah, we will talk to you in a bit. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip. Peace.